In this lesson, we're going to show you how to modify the default template settings in this ticker wizard. We have already scanned the scene and we have set up the carousel in one of the wizards and we have opened up the carousel. As we can see from the bottom of the panel, the available templates are presented here. And if we click the edit templates list, it's possible to do some modifications for the templates. The name column refers to the template root container as it appears in the Wizardist scene design. The description describes how the template is presented in this ticker client. For example, if creating a new message based upon a certain template, the description is used here. The description is also used in the template column in the carousel list. TTL refers to time to live, and that means for how many times the message should run in the carousel before it is taken out. The TTL action refers what should happen to the message once the TTL value is reached. The messages can either be moved from the carousel to the pool, or the message activated status can be set to inactive, and it's also possible to delete messages entirely. Presentation files can be used instead of the default editor when creating messages in this ticker client. Presentation files are created in this template wizard, which is part of the uh, this content pilot package. The presentation files are used here instead of the default editor. It's also possible to add color to the templates and that means that instances of the templates will be presented in the carousel and pool with the specified colors. And this concludes the description of how to modify the default template settings in this ticker wizard.